What's up, everybody? I keep getting tagged in, in posts. Got my new HTN hat. Um, I get, I keep getting tagged in posts from people. Um, tagging me about uh, folks being block banned, suspended, whatever. You know, the same old uh, song that everybody keeps singing uh, about Facebook, how bad they treating them. Uh, oh, I'm getting blocked. I'm getting banned. I'm getting sick of this. I'm getting sick of this. So what happens? They tell them about our time now. You know, go ahead and join. I get tagged in. People I don't even know, so I can't really comment to these people. Uh, but they uh, they still, you know, tagging me, which is, you know, I like to say thank you for that. I mean, I, I, I have nothing against that. My problem with the, the whole tagging thing is that these people do not move. They want to sit and complain about how they're being treated on Facebook. And some people send me messages about Twitter also. But they, they complain, they complain, they complain, they complain. And then when they ain't complaining, they complain about how they're getting treated by Facebook like a kid on punishment. But soon as they get off punishment, they run their ass right back to where the, the fuck they was. Since did that make? Your mama tell you not to go outside, you go outside. You get put on punishment for two days. Then as soon as you get off punishment, she say don't go outside because whatever. What do you do? You run your ass right back outside. And then you get put on punishment again. Then you wonder why am I on punishment? Same thing with these people with Facebook. They keep getting banned. They keep getting blocked. They keep getting suspended. They keep getting blah. And then they complain. Oh, I'm not going. I'm getting off this. Some bullshit. And what do they do? They go make another page. Then they tagging all their friends into the damn page. Oh, well, join this page. You, you know, I'm just my second page. This is my third page. Come on, people. This is ridiculous. Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It, 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 it was different when you didn't have the knowledge of our time now. Hell, if you didn't have the knowledge of any black social media site that Oya continuously posts all the time it's about six seven different social media sites that you can go to so there's no reason i'm not saying that i don't appreciate people you know at least thinking about me and posting the uh press release out there uh to let people know about the site but these same people that you keep tagging me and it's like they got amnesia am i call it am negro they got am negro because they keep on forgetting purposely or unpurposely one of the two either way they just keep on forgetting but, you know, the work continues. Uh, another thing, uh, a couple days ago, over the weekend, um, shout out to my sister Kimberly Robinson. Um, she posted up information about, you know, black people investing in the stock market. Now, I am not a big Warren Buffett type of dude. You know, I don't have a whole lot of money. You know, I take my few pennies and I buy a share here, a share there, and then, you know, and I, I go from there. I've told people about uh, Acorns where you can just, uh, you know, download the app and, uh, you know, connect it to your, your debit card or your credit card or whatever. And they take the change off of your purchase. And they, after so much money, they invest it. And it's a set it and forget it type of situation. I've told people about Capital One Investing where you can just, you know, buy shares that you can afford. Like Warren Buffett said, you know, buy shares in companies you know about. Walmart, Target, Nike, Disney. You know, yeah, you might only be able to afford one share, but hell, one share is better than no shares because a pair of Nikes cost two hundred dollars. A pair of uh, a share of Nike stock costs like a hundred and some change. You do the math. You put a few more dollars with that two hundred dollars, you can buy two shares of Nike and you can make a little bit of money over a long period of time. The them Nikes you wear for about six months if, if you wear them continuously and they will be worth nothing. So pick your poison. Now, we had this individual, I can't remember his name, I think it was Clifford or some shit like that, Clarence. Yeah, Clarence. Reminds me of uh, Clarence the So Fine on Amen, if anybody ever watched Amen, you know, Sherman Hemsley show, uh, about him being a deacon in a, I think it was a Philadelphia church, and, uh, 
you know, they had a boy on there. I think it was his name. Uh, I can't remember his name. Buster. I, I can't remember his name. He had a crazy little name. Anyway, his name was Clarence. They called him Clarence the Sofi, and that's how I remember this this loser's name. Uh, he gets on the site and tries to talk down about people. Oh, well, I, I, I you shouldn't be t teaching people about telling people about investing. Why not? You know, if you're a noob, he called us noobs. Yeah, you know, you shouldn't have any noobs on the site uh, uh, trying to invest and stuff like that. You need to get you a broker and have them do it. First of all, brokers cost a lot of money. It's okay, just say for argument's sake, they charge. Uh, first of all, they don't even want your little hundred dollars. They're not even dealing with you on that unless you find somebody that just got their their license and then they just need some clients. But if you go into a Merrill Lynch or something like that, them people don't want to be bothered with you. If you ain't talking about 10 grand or f shit, five grand, if you ain't talking about that, at least they don't want to be bothered with you, especially with investing. They might say, OK, let me throw this five grand in a mutual fund and get my little commission. And, you know, I'll just watch your account every now and again. And you get little letters here and there, you know, because I put two thousand dollars in a Edward Jones account and I get, you know, updates every month or something like that about my mutual fund or whatever. Ain't a lot of money, but, you know, I could have just wasted it on going getting hamburgers. I don't know. I mean, I'm fat. Look at me. I'm fat. It's OK. But, uh, you know, I took that two thousand dollars and gave it to the, uh, you know, to to my um, advisor, Arnett Tarley. And she invested that $2,000 and told me I had to leave it alone and let it sit there for a while. And then eventually, you know, when I get some more money, I'll put some more money in there. But this individual decides he's going to get on the site and start talking down to everybody. So I tried to reverse it on him. I flipped it. I flipped it. Um, I said uh, I, I tried to use a Jedi mind, a mind trick or a Negro mind trick. I said, well, OK, uh, Clarence, uh, why don't you? create a, a, a group on the site where you show people or teach people what you know about investing since you know so much. Oh, S&P 500 and this and that and blah, blah. Come on, Clarence. Enlighten us. This is what the re this is the reason that you hear. The social media part is just to attract people. The real purpose, like I've said time and time again, is for black people to get in a place where we can talk about our issues without having to be bothered by others. We have inner and outer enemies. This Clarence individual is obviously an inner enemy. But I told him, I said, look, here's the deal. We are here to help black people in any way that we can. If you have an idea for a business that you can get people to invest in or invest with you. Let's go ahead and do that. If you know some information about investing where you can help people save some money or build some money over a long period of time, let's go ahead and do that. If you know some stocks that's paying a good dividend in every month or six months or whatever the type time frame is, let's go ahead and do that. This Negro. He sends me a message that I didn't see until afterwards, but he sends me a message. How, how can I delete my account? Obviously, this individual love needed to be on Facebook where the, uh, the simple, uh, sad and slow live. And I'm not talking about anybody in particular that's on Facebook, I'm just saying, because I still have a Facebook account, but I am Harry Tudman. I'm running a internet railroad from Facebook to Our Time Now. So that's why I'm there. And I talk shit just to, you know, get people's attention and everything to just get them to Our Time Now. So I'm like a Pied Piper that doesn't play an instrument or sing. All I have is a website that I'm trying to flash in their face to get them to, you know, see it. So, you know, he obviously didn't like our little conversation and me telling him that he needed to, you know, basically shit or get off the pot. So he decided he wanted to leave. Not like he hurt my feelings or anything. It's just that he decided he wanted to leave. Poor baby. So now he's back on Facebook 
probably talking shit about our time now, you know, telling his friends half truths about how, you know, we are full of shit or whatever. That's usually what we get. You know, that site's racist. They full of shit. They ain't talking about nothing. You know, so they can poison their friends. When the real point of the matter is that we don't have problems on fa- on, on on our time now like they do on Facebook. We don't have people posting pictures of naked women and naked men on the site. We don't have little children in, in having uh, getting in, in, in street fights, you know, being posted uh, from people's cell phones or um, for world star hip hop video uh, videos. We don't have uh, pimps uh, uh, pimping the race on our time now. We don't have Negroes calling women hair hatted hooligans and, and uh, cussing them out. We don't have, uh, you know, faceless ghosts posting, you know, anonymous videos on our time now. We don't have none of that. Everybody get along. And if they don't, just like Clarence, they could be gone too. I don't usually kick people out. He helped himself out. He started deleting his pictures and deleting his information like we really wanted it. I mean, dude, you're not important, Clarence Middleton, I guess. You're not important. You're not important to me. You're not important to yourself. Because obviously the information that you had was worthless because if it wasn't, you would have been like, yeah, sure, let me go ahead and help my people that I'm supposedly caring about enough to want to even spew any information. But he didn't. And he don't. So any lies that this individual is going to tell, you know, make sure you tell the whole truth that you ran away. We didn't delete you. So those are just some little little nuggets of information that I, I had today. Uh, if you got any comments, concerns, complaints, you know where to put them in the comment box at the bottom. Till next time, it's our time now.